Hi ladies and gents, welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. Um, in this tutorial we are going to be running through one of the SolidWorks uh, tutorials. And it's the going to be the candlestick holder one as you can see here. Um, I'm going to take you through um, how we make this. Now this tutorial is really looking at um, how we use the revolve and sweep tool. Now, if you've not seen the last uh, tutorial that we ran through, I'll link that in the video. Um, this is in the series we are going to be looking at going through um, all of the SolidWorks modeling tutorials. So we will have a go at them um, one by one and get through them step by step. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you are a returning mem uh, viewer, please give us that big thumbs up if you're enjoying the content and leave any comments that you might have during uh, in the comment box and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so let's dive into this and uh, let's have a go at creating this model. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to start off on the front plane. <coughs> So on the front plane here, I'm going to go to sketch, and I'm going to sketch a straight line up. I'm going to come across here, and if I come back to the end of this last line, you'll see it will convert my line to an arc like so. So we've now got um, a arc there that I'm going to put in to that section and then I continue a straight line down and come back to that section and arc around here like so. Now once I've got them two arcs in, line straight down oh. so we're going to do a line straight down here and then from the end of there we're going to make another arc coming out here and then finish with a final arc around this edge like so and the line back to where we started there so we've got a rough outline here now this has no specific sizes to it so let's put some sizes to it <coughs> so my height up here is going to be 220 My distance out at the top here is going to be 20 and I'm literally just going to go around putting sizes on the rest of these shapes. So my radius of this first arc here is going to be 10 and the radius of my second arc here is going to be 20. like so, with a gap between the two there of 40. So as you can see, I'm just going around putting uh, these dimensions in just to define the shape. So we're now going from these blue lines to these black lines. Um, whenever we've got a blue line, it is showing that the sketch is underdefined. Um, and whenever we have a black line, it's starting to define that sketch. And you'll see in the bottom of the screen here where it says underdefined at the moment because they're not all black. As soon as all the lines turn black, you'll see that changes to fully defined. This bottom line coming out will be 90, like so. And the arc here will be 12.5, like so. Now, um, just to finally define this, we're going to get the distance up there, and that distance up there should be 80, like so. Okay, so we can see now how that se um, section is now fully defined, and at the bottom here of our um, screen, we now have a comment that says fully defined here. Okay. Um, all of our dimensions and relationships throughout that sketch helps to define it as well. So we've got our general shape. What we are now going to use is the revolve tool to turn this around into a component. So we're going to go to features. And we're going to go to the revolve tool here, which is the second one along. 
Now it's going to ask me for a revolve axis. I'm going to select this centre line here. Okay, and it will give me a preview of what it thinks I want it to look like. Now this is going around at 360 degrees, which is exactly what I want. So I'm happy with that, and I'm going to tick there. So now we've got that shape all the way around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a material to this. So if I go to the body section here, and we've got a body underneath the solid body section. So if I right click on that, and I'm going to add an appearance, this button here. I'm going to add that to the body, and what that will do is any other sections that I add onto this body will add on with the same appearance. So I'm going to go into metals, I'm going to drop this down, and I want a brass. So I'm going to click on brass at the top there, and I'm going to go polished brass. That gives me my material for my brass candle holder. <coughs> okay, so we've got this section, this center section. What we need now is the handle to hold it with. So I'm going to go to the um, front plane again. And I'm going to turn normal to that front plane. And I'm going to sketch on that front plane. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is drop down my align tool create a center line and draw a center line in straight up my candle holder like so okay so once I've got that center line in there I'm now going to move in to this bottom corner and on this bottom corner I'm going to sketch the shape for my handle so I'm going to draw a line out here come out now I've got my straight line so I'm going to go back to the end point here and bring it out now and I'll get a curvature again bring that out and drop that there and then on the end of here I'm going to repeat the same again and this time I want a big arc around like so and that will give me my handle shape so putting some sizes to this uh, first thing I'm going to do is create a relationship between them two points there and make that horizontal so that they're in line with each other. And then I'm going to um, put some sizes. So from this line down to the base is going to be 10. My length of this first line here, I want to be 60. Then I want the radius of this arc here to be 150, like so. Last part of this is getting the radius of this top section here, and that is going to be 20. Now that gives me the radius, but I need to define the height from there to there, which is going to be 65. And you can see now that we've got that in place, my sketch has completely gone black, and we've got our fully defined point at the bottom there. Okay. So I'm going to leave that sketch and leave it how it is for now. So exit the sketch. And I'm now going to go onto the right plane. So I'm normal to that. And I'm going to sketch on that right plane. I'm going to use the ellipse tool here. And I'm going to create um, an ellipse component. Just to any size at the moment, dropped in there on the right plane, so it doesn't matter where it is. Um, I'm just dropping it in there on the right plane, and it's to any size. I'll put some sizes to it first now. So I'm going to get my distance from edge to edge across there, and I want that to be 35. And then I'm going to get my distance from bottom to top across there, and I want that to be 10. Now once I've got them in place, this is still not defined because it's not fixed to anything. So what I want to do is I want to fix this center point of my ellipse to my um, uh, curvature, my shape that I did on my last sketch, on sketch 2. So I'm going to click on the center point there of my ellipse, hold control and click on that bottom line of my sketch 2. And I'm going to go to Pierce as my relationship. And that will line them two points up. 
tick here. What the PS button does is it finds the intercept point on that p on the two planes of the two sketches. So that center point intercepts with right on the end of this line here because that's where it starts in relationship to the plane. Now, now we've got that in place. What we're now going to have a look at is exiting that sketch. And we are going to sweep this along this curvature. So I'm going to go to features. I'm going to sweep. And it's going to ask me to select two profiles. First of all, the profile that I want to uh, sweep, sweep along, which is that. And secondly, my line on my path that I want to go along, which is this one here. Okay, and you can see there how that's been sweeped along that shape as a preview. If we're happy with that, tick it. And we have our handle on our candlestick. Now, just to finish this off, I'm going to go up to the top here and I'm going to put in my uh, hole for my candle to go in. So, if I click on this top fa face, sketch on there, I'm going to hit the spacebar on my keyboard and that'll bring up this view option. If it doesn't bring this up, it brings up my orientation pad here. I can click any of these to take me to whichever view. Or if I click that one in the top corner, my view selector, it brings up this profile and I can click any area in there. So I'm viewing straight down now. I'm going to sketch on this top plane and I'm going to create a circle. And that circle needs to be um, 30 millimeters wide like so okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into this uh, into the candlestick holder so extrude cut I'm going to come down 25 millimeters but I'm going to also add a draft angle on that what draft angle does is it just tapers it in or out so you can see now that this bottom circle here is smaller than the top one I'm going to stick it 15 degrees and I'm going to tick there that I'm happy with that. Now you'll see now if I click on this extrude shape that we get sort of a preview of what it looks like. It's like a sort of um, a flat top cone in there. Okay, and if I view from the top, like so, you'll see how it gets smaller as it goes down. Okay, so that is our candle holder completed. Um, uh, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial um, and you found that useful. What I would say is have a go, see how you get on. This is a brilliant tutorial for those getting started with SolidWorks and beginning with SolidWorks. Um, uh, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment in that comment box. See what you tell me what you thought of the tutorial. Was it easy? Was it? Um, have you learned something from it? Um, uh, and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you're a returning member or returning viewer, please hit that thumbs up. Um, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.